officials are still barred from briefing President-elect Joe Biden until the Trump administration recognizes the result of the election. As Michael George reports, the president-elect says the delays are hurting his efforts to prepare for the deployment of coronavirus vaccines. It all came together around President-elect Biden says President Trump's refusal to coordinate with the transition is putting American lives at risk. More people may die if we don't coordinate. Mr. Biden says the Trump administration is blocking his team from seeing detailed plans for coronavirus vaccine distribution, much of which will take place under a Biden administration. How do we get over 300 million Americans vaccinated? What's the game plan? It's a huge, huge, huge undertaking. If we have to wait until January 20th to start that planning, it puts us behind over a month, month and a half. President-elect Biden is still not receiving the presidential daily intelligence briefings. Today, he's bringing in advisors from outside the government to brief him on national security issues. CBS News has learned President Trump plans to draw down U.S. forces in Afghanistan and Iraq to about 2,400 troops in each country. A senior Afghanistan official told CBS News a premature withdrawal could embolden the Taliban to continue violent attacks. He added, God forbid, Afghanistan will once again become the safe haven for international terrorists. Nothing about the circumstances we face today suggests that if we lose resolve, the terrorists will simply leave us alone. The new acting defense secretary, Christopher Miller, said in a message to employees he wants to bring the current war to an end in a responsible manner that guarantees the security of our citizens. Michael George, CBS News, Wilmington, Delaware.